A switch statement is another way to represent multi-branch behavior by using a series of case statements. The switch statement's expression can only be an integer, char, or a string. So let's take a look at the example on the right-hand side where you have the word switch, and then inside the parentheses is an expression that's either an integer, char, or a string. And then you have a case. You have several different cases, and whatever case matches the expression, then those are the statements that are going to execute up until it reaches a break statement. If you forget the break statements, then every single case will actually execute starting from the matching case up until the end of the switch. And the default case is kind of like an else statement in an if else. Well, let's take a look at a switch statement example. So to create a switch, let's first declare uh, a variable. Let's say char in your grade is b. So now we can create a switch on that grade by simply saying switch, sticking the grade variable in there, and we have the body of the switch with the curly braces. And inside we're going to create our case statement. So case a colon, and we can print out system .out print line. You got an A. So let's add another case, and I'm going to intentionally leave an error in there so you guys can see what's going on. Case B, and don't forget single quotes around single characters. So that out that print line. You got a B. And I'm just going to copy this to save time. So there's case. C, you got a C, and let's just make this the default case. Default colon you you suck. That's what we're gonna say. And let's see what happens. So you would think that because the grade is a B, that it's gonna print out you got a B, and let's see what happens. It says you got a B, you got a C, and that you suck, which is not very nice and not what we wanted because like we mentioned earlier, we have to have a break statement after every set of statements within a case. Break, break, and a break right there. Do we need a break after the default? Doesn't really make a difference because we're already at the end of the switch, but you can include one if you want. And now if we run the program again, it just says you got a B, and it doesn't tell you that you suck. So good job. And But what if we got lowercase a what's it gonna do is it gonna tell you that you got an a or is it gonna tell you something differently let's find out let's run the program and it says that you suck but why do you suck you got you got an a but it's a lowercase a so this switch statement doesn't account for upper and lowercase so what we could do is we could probably just copy this and change this to a lowercase a and do that for all the other cases and it seems to work but an easier way is to just simply add case a and that way this kind of works like an or if it's upper or lowercase a it'll print out you got an a and if it's upper or lowercase b you got a b or if it's upper and lowercase c then you got a C. This works for any case. So let's try changing your grade back to B. And it says you got a B. And another way you could have done it is you could have used the character wrapper class by saying character dot to upper case pass grade in there. Then we don't have to account for lowercase because it's always going to be uppercase so we forced it to be uppercase with the with that line of code. So a lowercase b now is going to be converted to uppercase using this character dot to uppercase method, and it's going to say you got a b. And a lowercase c will tell you that you got a c. So either way will work, and this is an example of a switch statement. It's similar to a multi-branch statement, but it looks a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to work with.